What happens in a WordPress site when you don't have access to the actual file manager? Maybe you're managing a website for a client that didn't get access to the hosting provider. Well, you need to access these files for certain type of modifications. Well, there's a plugin that I want to show you that's free that can help you with it. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? So the plugin that I want to show you is free, and it's a file manager that gives you access here on WordPress. Now, to get access to it, you go to plugins, add new, and search for file manager. Once you locate it, it's going to be practically the first one because it has over 1 million active installs. It's this one right here, file manager by this guy right there, okay? So install, activate, and you're going to find a new option right here, WP File Manager. Now, before I show you that, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They provide affordable shared hosting plans that are really, well, affordable. Now, there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you. So let me show you how to apply it. Go to hosting, go to web hosting, and you're going to find the shared hosting plans. You can find them from $2.99 all the way up to $9.99. So depending on your plan needs, grab the plan that works best for you. I would recommend the cloud startup because it includes a dedicated IP address, but that not that might not be the case for a lot of people and you're good to go with the most popular one which is the business plan let me go ahead and select this one for the coupon that i want to show you and the first thing that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance i recommend 48 months you lock in the lowest price lowest renewal price and you're good to go for 48 months so what more can you ask all right now the price right now for those 48 months is 191 dollars with 52 cents but if you apply my coupon code, which is SASMaster and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, use my coupon code. All right. Now back to the plugin. Like I said, once you install it and activate it, go to this option and it's going to take you straight to the file manager. So just like you would find this on the back end of the hosting part where the website manager is, you're going to find the file manager right here. That's super easy to use. Now, one of the things that I like is that practically everything works from here. You can upload, download, edit, etc. all from here. Even right click works on it. So if I right click, we got all the options to open, download, preview into new folder, copy, duplicate, etc. And if I hit shift for this section, it's going to work. And if I hit command, I can grab uh, multiple files from here. So everything works smoothly in this plugin. Now, if you want to modify, for example, plugins, your uploads, etc., you're going to find them here in content. Then you're going to find them if you're modifying plugins they are going to be here if they're causing problems you want to remove it rename it etc you can do it from here your themes your upgrades your uploads where all your images are going to be all available right here and if you want to edit the admin section because you need to edit something that is possible here if you want to edit the ht axis index php etc all is available here for editing so, so for example if i want to edit the index.php i can go ahead and open this let it open it up. I can go ahead and open it, edit it, etc., and then go ahead and replace it to modify it. Right next, you have settings. So in settings, these are potential settings that you would get if you grab the pro version. What I just showed you is the free version, which is more than enough for most of us because all we need access to is to the file manager. This is going to give you some extra tools, extra tweaks that are really great. And this is practically a screenshot of everything that you're going to get in the pro version in case you want to grab it. You got code editor, user restrictions, user role restrictions, and front end access. And then we have the preferences, which are pretty much basic, but it's in the free version. So the public group path in this case is by default this one, but you can go ahead and modify it. Enable trash. So if you want to delete something and go to the trash instead of just deleting completely, I think this is a great option to enable. You got also enable file upload to media library. So again, something you would like if you plan to use this and you don't have access to the back end and the maximum allowed size for the database backup restore. So in this case, 65 megabytes might be too small depending on the site, but you can set it here, go ahead and save it, and you are good to go. You have access, for example, system properties, which is pretty much basic. You can find those already here on your tools, but I mean, you get it there. Short code, that's for pro, your logs, and your backup and restore. If you make changes, you can have a backup right here, which I think is a pretty good option that you have available here for free. Now, that is the free file manager plugin that if you want to grab the link we provided in the description. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code SASMaster. And that's a wrap.